Okay, if you've installed the new NVIDIA drivers, uh, you more than likely have super resolution enabled on Flight Simulator. So we go over here to Options and General Options, and you'll see here that uh, if we go to Graphics, all of a sudden anti-aliasing is set for NVIDIA DLSS. And depending upon your video card, you may have DX12 as uh, set up, the beta version. So how did this happen? Well, if you went and installed it and you went here to the NVIDIA control panel and enabled super resolution, uh, I set it up about a few weeks ago when the driver came out uh, for Edge, actually, for uh, enhancing images there. But it seems like it also affects uh, Flight Simulator. Now, I'm not sure why, but mine came up as window mode. I don't remember having it that way. So I'm going to change it back here uh, to full screen. Uh, so we're operating... Uh, as a entitled screen. Then hunting around after I uh, save the changes, we'll see that uh, different settings are set up here. Super resolution, and you can just go back to uh, one of the other ones for anti-aliasing, that the normal ones you're used to seeing. And then depending upon your uh, graphics card, I have a lower end uh, RTX card. Uh, you can set this for ultra performance and whatever. So that's the first step. Then you can go through the rest of these settings, and I'm not going to have a video on each and every setting and what they mean, uh, but I'm going to set mine for a, I don't know, performance mode, uh, but I'm going to set mine for a mode that fits my particular card. Actually, I'm going to set it at the highest resolution I can do right now with the Ultra Performance and the DX12, uh, because I want to see uh, exactly what I would do. Not the highest setting, I'm not going to set this to the highest, but it's recommended settings and leave it there and see how it runs. So there you see I have it on everything is uh, on or high, uh, DX12, and everything, the, the resolution down below and everything is going to be set uh, to ultra. Uh, see if my card can handle that. I do have 30, uh, 32 gigabytes of memory, so I might be able to run this, uh, but let's find out. So in addition to high resolution, I'm going to pick the biggest plane I got with the most uh, detail. I'm going to grab a, a big Boeing jet here and I'm going to go ahead and launch it with that. And just for a little overkill, I'm going to pick the densest detail that I can find as far as airports go or uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch from New York and uh, we'll see uh, how well my graphics card handles all this. So here I am. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say ready to fly and go ahead and click on it and let's see what happens. There's the aircraft. Click on that. And let's see what happens with the uh, launching of the aircraft. Hey, it came up fine. It's uh, running okay. Or is it? Right after it did this, it crashed. So what happened then? Well, after we, all the screens went by, I cut them down a little bit here. But once they came up, uh, I got the message uh, that it knew full well that I had a problem. But, so uh, I went ahead and restarted in a normal mode. So I ran it again, with, and again, without the video recording software. And it crashed again. So this is the second time through. So what did I do? I went in and tested it again with DX12 still on, several different settings, and it really was problematic. So eventually what I did was, besides trying to get the highest performance here, is I eventually turned off DX12. And after about a half an hour of testing, I finally settled on DX11 high end. Uh, again, you might be able to go to another resolution. Um, it's just a question of whether or not it runs and if it stutters or not. Uh, my card, it ran fine without any stuttering. Uh, you also have to balance out the, how it appears. So with the same exact setup uh, on the uh, high on uh, ultra performance, uh, I went ahead and launched it with the same aircraft in the same location. Uh, came up with the uh, Boeing uh, launch. And uh, once I did that, I changed to the same flight condition so that the rendering of the buildings and everything would be exactly the same. So uh, it went to daytime. And once I did that, I launched uh, the aircraft. It got up in the air. Everything ran fine. A little staggering. Again, this is on the uh, video recording uh, software is running with it. But then I pressed the Y key, and I went ahead and just uh, did the yaw controls to go take a look around and see what it looked like compared to what it did what I expected or what I previously had. And this is really a subjective look because you have to uh, sit here and take a look and see, again, how it runs, how much detail you want, uh, and all that.
Now the last thing I did is I took some snapshots both in DX12 and DX11 on different areas in New York City and tried to get the same exact ones in uh, DX11 and I compared the two to see if there was any real difference to it uh, during flight. So what's the verdict? Well, if you have a 4K monitor, I don't, I'm running on a regular uh, 1920 by 1080 and you want to have the best resolution and you want just set everything to the highest thing you can until your system crashes. That's basically it. Then roll it back step by step with a logical order until you get the performance you want. And if you don't get the performance you want, time to look for an upgrade. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.